everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny Wu, and my channel's name is Jenny Wu Finance Warrior. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to build your perfect home gym. So today is March 17th, 2020, so happy St. Patrick's Day. And today we got an announcement that basically Las Vegas is getting shut down. Non-essential businesses are going to be closing, um, which includes the gym. And I used to go to the gym every single day. It kind of became like therapeutic for me. But now I feel like I need to build my own home gym. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about parts of my process and how I think it would be able to help you and some steps to kind of guide yourself along the way if you're thinking about building your own home gym as well. So the first step is to know yourself and assess your situation. So for example, if you really like watching like Pilates videos or yoga videos, make sure you have a yoga mat. Just kind of think about how much money you can spend on a home gym. And in the next few minutes of this video, I'm going to be talking about what kind of equipment you should prioritize if you have more of a limited budget. So not only is the budget a huge concern, especially right now, we have the concern of time. So right now there's a lot of delayed shipments because everybody and their mothers is trying to build a home gym, I feel like, because I was literally buying dumbbells on Amazon and it went up 10% in five minutes and another five minutes later when I was in my cart, it went up another 10% and then it sold out. And I was just like, it's craziness. So people are like, the demand is really high right now for a home gym. So that's why I say time is a constraint right now. You need to really prioritize what you want and really think through your purchases. Even though you're on a small time crunch, it's really, really hard. And the hardest part is if you buy used and it is a competitive marketplace and I will get to that next. Another huge constraint, I'm sure you're thinking about it, is space. So where do you have space to work out? And not only does this mean like actually like an open area in your home or apartment, but I mean like if you live in an apartment, maybe you can't be job roping and you know, you get a noise complaint or if you like um, set the weights down too heavy, you might get a complaint. If you can't avoid it, make sure it's not on carpet. If you can make it on hardwood floor and then have like um, the foam mats or like some people use like horse stall material, like what the horses stand on. I don't even know what it's called, sorry. I found out this after I bought my foam mats. Yeah, so I will definitely do it on a hard surface floor. That way it's even. Um, make sure that the foundation is flat and not at an incline. So that's kind of what you want to think about for space. So for me personally, I was not planning to build a home gym. I had contemplated it before, but I really enjoy the process of me physically going into the gym and working out. Um, I never really want to invest the money into a home gym. It's really expensive. It's very time consuming and also I genuinely enjoy going out. The, the routine is very comfortable for me so I never wanted to build my own. But due to the current circumstances, I really don't have a choice. I mean, if I want to get my workout in and be inspired, this is what I felt like something I had to do. And luckily with my sign-on bonus, um, I was able to have the extra money for it. Next step in knowing yourself and assessing your situation is to take note of your inventory. For example, I got gifted weights a few years ago but there were two pound three pound and five pound dumbbells and so i didn't need to buy a set that had a five pound dumbbell so i went to the set that had 10 to 35 pound dumbbells that way i wasn't like repeating any of the inventory i already had you know your budget and you know your space constraints and now we're going to start with the necessities so as i mentioned earlier you want to have a a flat surface like a hardwood floor and then I think flooring is really important especially if you're going to be doing weight training and dropping the weights on the floor you don't want to damage your floor and you don't want to create a huge thud um, if you do have downstairs neighbors. I ended up getting foam flooring off of Amazon and I'll uh, link it up here. So basically what this is is like a one inch exercise mat and then um, I got the one that I believe is 99 square feet and it's significantly larger than the space I need it for. But the reason why I got a larger piece is because then I could replace the pieces if I ever need to. And also it was just something that I knew I could like repurpose for like other things. So I also suggest getting like a thicker foam mat. And you can just probably get one from like Ross or TJ Maxx if your stores are open for leisurely spending. If not, order off Amazon or another fitness website. The next essential thing I want to talk about is a bench and this is the reason why I didn't work out at home very much when I was going to the gym. I just found that I couldn't do the workouts without a bench. Like you cannot do hip thrusts without a bench. I mean I did on my BOSU ball but it wasn't like that great and I don't have a lot of stable services that can like mimic a bench. 
The type of bench I would suggest is an adjustable bench. If you could find one that can incline and also decline, that's probably the best because it's the most versatile. The, the one I got from Amazon, I'll link it up here, you're actually able to do back extensions on it as well. So I thought that was really cool and you could do a few more workouts. So it's like very versatile. And then I bought another bench that uh, I didn't know at the time when I bought it that it was incline only. But yeah, so I got that one off of um, off. So personally for me, just the floor, the, the flooring, the mat and the bench, it's not enough. I like something that I can like step on and I like to use like balance um, items. So like a BOSU ball is something that I would think is essential for me or a yoga ball. Um, I know you're not standing on a yoga ball, but that's relatively cheap and a good stabilizer to kind of work out your core. Um, also, I think the TerraCore, which I can link right here, is a very valuable and versatile tool as well. So I really like something like that where you can kind of like wobble. I just feel like it engages your body in a way that like flat, stagnant surfaces don't. And I like just to add that to the element. It really makes workouts a lot more fun to me, which goes back to my first point, know yourself. I personally really enjoy that, so I would consider that a necessity for me. All right, the next necessity, we're going to be talking about weight. So you really want to think about progressively overloading your um, body. So basically what that means is you just want to use weights that are like going to be heavier over time. So between free weights and adjustable dumbbell, you can decide what's good for you. I personally went with free weights and I bought mine off Amazon. I can link it here. Um, like I said, my first set did sell out. They are going quick like hotcakes, but I chose the, the V setup because it takes up a little bit less space than a traditional and also the cheapest place I could find it is Amazon and there was no one selling it on Craigslist or OfferUp when I bought it unfortunately. In the same weight category, if you like strength training, I would recommend you get Olympic style weights. So this is where you kind of got your plates. So I can um, either grab one here and look crazy. Okay, I'll grab it. So this is an Olympic style weight. This is 10 pounds. And I personally like the ones with the holes in it. So the first one I had bought, it didn't have holes in it. And the reason why I like holes in it is because I like to use these for workouts too. So the reason why I recommend having Olympic style weights is because they're so versatile. If you want to put them on an easy bar or a straight bar or Olympic barbell, like they, they fit. <laughs> You don't have to buy an Olympic barbell, I did. The Olympic barbell by itself is 45 pounds, so it's just like already very heavy, which is why I got an easy bar. But yeah, this is the Olympic style weight. These are great. I got a set of 300 pounds. I also bought this off of Amazon, so I will link. Wait, did I buy it off? No, no, no. I bought this one off of D-I-C-K-S, sorry. Something weird that you learn about me over time is I don't, I don't cuss. I know that's not a bad word, but don't shame me, okay? It's just, it's just me. I'm sorry. I can't. And I always spell it wrong too. <laughs> well, anyways, I bought it there and um, there was a coupon online, so I saved $20. Yay for saving money. And I got 5% cash back on my US bank credit card. But yeah, highly recommend having Olympic style weights. And if you can, choose the ones with the holes in it. So another option for weights, if you don't like an easy bar, which is the curly bar, um, I bought mine from uh, DIK. D I C K S two sporting goods. Uh, I can link that here. It's like fifty dollars. You could do like deadlifts. You could do it on your back. So it's just perfect because forty five pounds for me is like sometimes too heavy, especially with arm day. So if you're not a huge strength training person, um, you can go for kettlebells. They're very versatile. They're like aged way back in God knows when. Uh, and the cool thing about kettlebells is that not only can you do your traditional like kettlebell swing. And you can use them for a lot of ab workouts. I just think they're very versatile. And I would say if you're a girl, get a challenging weight. If you're just going to buy one, maybe get like 30 to 35 pounds. And if you're a guy, maybe like, I really don't know guy strengths, maybe like 50 to 60. <laughs> if you can only get one, get a challenging weight. That's my point. So don't, don't get like a two pound kettlebell and be like, that's my workout. You know, like really challenge yourself. If you're buying one, if you're buying a set, then you are, must be really wealthy because sets of kettlebells are very expensive. <sighs> Just All right, so now we got our essentials out of the way and now we're gonna talk about diversification. And this is where I was mentioning how you wanna keep it interesting and something that you will enjoy. So to get a cardio warm up, I got jump ropes. And I know this doesn't look like a traditional jump rope and it's because it's a ropeless jump rope, but it's really cool. And I think it was like less than $20. I think it was like only 
17 or 18 dollars on amazon but it's it's like got a counter so it can count how many um <laughs> okay i literally don't know a word for that how many jumps you do i guess and um yeah and it, there's like weights in here so it feels like even though you don't have the rope on it it's still like weighing it down and of course it comes with a traditional rope too but if you have limited space or you don't want to whack the floor or injure the, flo injure the floor if you don't want to hurt your floor or your ceiling or your walls you can go with this option it's a ropeless jump rope and it's under twenty dollars so another thing I ended up getting was a TRX, which you can mount to your wall, to your ceiling, or to your door. And it's kind of like a full body, um, uses your body weight for a full workout. Like it's a highly versatile tool and they always have sales. So they had a sale, it was like 25% off. I picked up a TRX and I got a TRX mat. I, and the reason why I bought the TRX from the official website is not only because they have a warranty through them, but also I know that there's a lot of fakes for TRX systems and that is something I do not want to risk. Because if you fall on a suspension um, item like that, training item, then it's gonna really hurt and I don't want to get injured at home, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so um, anything else that you really enjoy at the gym, um, maybe you're really into boxing if you want to get a boxing bag, if you have the space for it, if your ceiling can handle it, and just like other things that you think is like fun or interesting. Maybe you have a pool and you can go swimming, so you can diversify it that way. But just kind of think about what you enjoy and keep it interesting so that you're going to keep up with your workouts at home. All right, now for the bonus tip of this video, if you can, take your time growing your collection. I know... For me, I would have really preferred being able to do that. Unfortunately, I'm not able to because we're kind of on a time crunch right now. And I really want to not lose my good habit of working out every day, uh, which I did take a few days off trying to like find the best things to buy. And um, for larger purchases, for example, like a power cage, a Smith machine, any assisted machines, like really take your time, compare. Read reviews because if it's cheaper, it might just not be good quality. And that's what I found with a lot of the power cages I was looking at buying. I'm, like I said, start with essentials, do the flooring, the mat, a bench I think is pretty important, and also some sort of weights that you can challenge yourself on. So either if you just get the Olympic barbell or if you only do the dumbbells, like you can do a whole workout with just dumbbells. So if you don't have the money, you can always do body weight workouts at home that still challenge your body. If you can, when you can, buy used. Um, you usually get a much better deal. I really wish I had the opportunity to buy used, but due to just the sheer craziness of the situation, I didn't really have like the luxury of time, unfortunately. It was just things were going so fast, they were going like hotcakes, and this is like new items. The used items were already gone. So the marketplace is usually so oversaturated with workout equipment, but right now it's just like barren lands. Like you can't find anything on those apps. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you. Gave you a few ideas on how to build your home gym, how to st where to start, um, what what you should get, you know. And I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Um, now that we're quarantined at home, I'm probably gonna be filming a lot more videos. One thing that you probably don't know about me is that I have been filming for like a month now, but I don't know how to edit videos, so I'm not sure what order these videos will come out in. Um, but I do want to get on and out. Thanks for hanging out with me. I highly appreciate it. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. You are the best. Um, if you could please give this video a like and comment down below. Let me know what you have in your home gym. And let me know what you're doing in this quarantine. I mean, if you are quarantined. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me. I highly appreciate it. My name is Jenny Wu. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Ring the bell for the next time I make a video so you can support a young YouTuber like me. Well, I'm not young, but I'm like a fetus in YouTuber years. <sighs> Alright, it's time to sign up. I just call myself a fetus. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for listening, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye! Um, for me, I ended up getting foam rollers on Amazon. Oh, sorry, English. And so, oh, hello. My watch is coming off. That's off. So if you are not a huge strength, uh, heavy weight lifter type of person, then you can um, settle for, I mean, hold on. They're not settling. Sorry. Okay, sorry. So if you're not a huge strength training person, you can settle. I really just said settle again.
Come on, jump up. Come on. Nearly gave me a heart attack. There we go. I think it's either if you, I don't know where you may live, but if you have a huge backyard, maybe take a jog in your yard. Um, actually, I don't know whose big backyard would be big enough. So either a bosa ball or like a chair core, which I can like, like here, hold on, let me go see. Um, something else that I ended up picking up is a TRX. So this is uh, your full, body weight workout um, that you can attach on a door or the ceiling or the wall you can just mount it sorry my nose catch you can do your arms you can do your backs you can do your shoulder i'm just saying you can do your backs all 10 of your backs and just let me know i mean how are you doing like just let me know you know just, just let's talk <laughs> i mean we have nothing but time right now um, oh my god i nearly had a heart attack